Hello, hey guys, how the frigs are going today? It's a late start for me once again because we were up playing Grand Theft Auto last night. And unlike recording, instead I streamed. We didn't have a lot of people watching the stream. We had about, at the most, nine. At the least, none. But uh, it was a good time. It was a good time regardless. So, what I want to do today is we are going to head out into the backyard and I want to bury that hole. Yeah, it's a nice cool day out today. It was a great night for sleeping last night, let me tell you. Holy crap, was it ever a good night for sleeping. So I got Oreo out here with me. He's on leash. He's got some shit in the way, for freak's sakes. Uh, where's my round mouth shovel? There it is. No, that's my rake. There's my round mouth. So we'll grab this. Let's go out there and we'll bury the hole. Um, I mowed the front lawn last night after supper. Uh, you can sort of tell. Probably not. It's a friggin' mess. Look at him just squirreling one off. Okay, let's get you guys on the tripod. Let's go bury a hole. Yeah, it looks like ass, but that's fine. I'm grabbing wood and just chucking it over in the back area there. Because I don't want to hit this shit with my lawnmower. Okay. So I'm going to leave this like this, but I did find something cool in that pile. Where'd it go? Oh shit, where did it go? Oh yeah. Found an old horseshoe. Let's go clean this up and see what it looks like. Yeah, there's no way to clean this. It's rusted right through. Like if I take off any more metal, chances are it's just going to break and I kind of like it. I don't know why, but it's kind of cool, even though it's bent to shit. I don't know if a horse wore this, or if this is what they used when it had the horseshoe pit in the backyard. I don't know why I found it in the uh, dirt. I dug it out from under that tree. So this was literally underneath that tree, boys. Pretty fucked, eh? Friggin' horseshoe. Right on. Should hang it up somewhere. Should hang it up somewhere. Somewhere, like right there. My lucky horseshoe. Oh, it's my lucky horseshoe. Here, we'll just fucking stab it right there. There we go. My lucky horseshoe in my garage. Watching over me and stuff. That's awesome. Probably could put a coat of paint on it, but the rustic look kind of suits it. I was thinking about cutting the back lawn, but honestly, I'm thinking I might not do that today because I really don't feel like it, to be honest with you. Really don't. What I want to do is grab my weed whacker and go over there and smack out those brand new strawberry bushes. Well, I cleaned up a little bit of them, but I think honestly, when I get my chemical warfare going, that'll be a lot easier. Hells yeah, but uh, at least that's buried. Should probably bring my shovel back in the garage. You know, after this winter, next spring, all this foliage will be dead. Gotta get this rock out of here. Just chuck it up here for now. I'll grab the uh, this shovel, bring that back to the garage. But yeah, after this winter, this will all be pushed down because of all the heavy snow. And then uh, next year, I'll worry about seeding it. Won't really give two shits about it this year. Friggin', still gotta get on this project. Even if I don't, I'll just wheel it into the garage and fire it in the back forward, you know, shovel this winter. I don't mind shoveling. As you can tell, I shovel today. Not even any friggin' snow on the ground and I'm shoveling. So, I don't know what I want to do now. Not really anything physical. Fuck it, I'm going in the house. That has to be the most uncomfortable thing I've ever seen her lay on. Oh no, okay, the other flap's closed. She's guarding my empties. Haro, did you claim those? Is that $2.40 for your treats? I'll buy you some treats at groceries tonight, okay buddy? I know what we can do. Get out my big dirty pot. <clears throat> Shit my pants. Fill that thing with water. Let's make salt water. Alrighty, we'll put the lid on her. Let her boil up. Once she's boiled, we're gonna chuck this stuff into it. And this stuff into it. Jesus. Murphy. Pot's possessed, bro. What's going on? Not even boiling. Fucking noisy though. Whatever. Okay, you need to calm your tits over there, noisy McNoiserton. Holy crap. You guys hearing this right now? Sounds like a tropical earthquake rolling through here. Freak sakes, just starts wobbling and banging around and hissing and craziness. So I've gone ahead and added some Epsom salt to it. We'll see what this does. It's making a lot of noise again.
And a little bit, a lot more. Basically the effect I'm hoping to get out of this is the same effect of going to the ocean, grabbing a jar of salt water and throwing it on your lawn. It'll literally kill the pH level in the ground and nothing will grow there. And that's what I want to do with the raspberry bushes because I have a plan for that one of these days. So literally we got to get this here all to dilute. And then once we do, we will basically, we got to cool it down before we do the next step. So I'm just going to fire it off to the side or something and go from there and then we'll go to get groceries and deal with the rest of this because I need to pick up some groceries. I got nothing to eat in the house, just chicken. I don't even think I have any packs of rice left, to be honest with you. I got some cornstarch, I got some Lipton, Lipton noodle soup, I got some more Lipton noodle soup, some friggin' sweetener. Oh, I do have a pack of cat flavored rice. The fuck are these? Oh, Oreos cookies. Um, we got some noodles. So, I got some hamburger helper, just no hamburger. So that sucks. Oh, and I got two more packs of rice here. I didn't even see those there, right on. Well, still, I don't have any bread. I'm out of bread, I'm out of cold cuts. I need that. So we're about to go pick that up. Um, I want to get some mashed potatoes for tonight. Because I was thinking about doing potatoes and chicken. Or I might get some egg noodles and that, that white sauce that bloke bought, that Fredo, that Fredo sauce. I think it's called that. And we'll totally have Fredo and chicken for supper tonight. That'd be pretty good. He showed me how to make it when I was there. And it looked pretty awesome. We'll just cut up some chicken, oven bake it, and fucking Fredo it. Actually, to be honest with you, I really don't feel like pasta tonight. I just feel like a greasy meal, so... Ah, we'll see what we get. All I know is I hope that this concoction works. Everybody on the internet says it does, because I'd really like to stop that from growing anymore. Same with the one over along behind the garage. Wow, the steam coming off of this smells salty. All right, we'll let that boil up and dilute, and then we'll have to take her off and let her cool down, and we got ourselves some salt water. And then we just add some dish soap to it. That's what they said to use, dish soap, Dawn dish soap, and I bought some, so then we'll pour it into the spray jug, and we'll give her a go probably tomorrow, because I don't know how long this is going to take to cool down and be usable. And I don't know if it's going to rain tonight, because you probably don't want to use this when it's going to rain. But while that's boiling up, there's something I wanted to talk about. I was looking at the election ship for Canada because their federal elections are coming up in October and we got three people involved. We have Harper for Conservatives, Mulcair for NDP, Liberals is um, fucking Trudeau. I can't remember, sorry, there's four parties, the, the Green Party, but I keep forgetting about them. I always consider the top three. Anyway, all but, so like, the thing is, it's all it all comes down to the legalization of marijuana. That was one of the things that I saw that Justin Trudeau wants to do. He doesn't want to decriminalize it. He wants to legalize it for legal use. Now, I do believe that with marijuana, there is no problem. Like, marijuana is marijuana. It's a fucking plant that grows out of the ground, just like chamomile, just like any other sage. You know, all the shit in my spice rack, garlic and all that just so happens when you ignite it and smoke it, it gives you a really cool effect. Yeah, okay, so marijuana is illegal, but salvia isn't. Salvia is another plant that when you smoke it, you get about a, a five to eight minute hallucinogenic effect where you have no longer any control of your body, weird shit happens. It's just a horrible ride. It's just a horrible ride. Well, when I tried it, it was. Never fucking do that shit again. I did not enjoy it. It was bad. That's legal though. You can go to the now, there's a place here in town you can go and pick some up and do it. And no, I will not do that for a video. That's legal, marijuana isn't. Now, liquor's legal, but the thing is with liquor, look, it's legal. Look how much we pay for a case of beer up here. For a 28 pack of beer, I pay 40 bucks. Go to Quebec, you pay less. If they legalize marijuana, it'll be legal, but they'll probably make it illegal for you to grow your own at home. Where decriminalization just means that you can have an ounce on you and you might get slapped on the wrist with a hundred dollar fine. You're allowed to, to have it for personal use, but you can't be walking around in public. Like right now, you get busted with marijuana, you're looking at fucking jail time. Jail time for picking up a plant. I'm all for decriminalization. I'm not sure about legalization. The main problem I have with legalization is I'm a medicinal patient, and I have to get my medicine from fuck was that? Anyway, I have to get my medicine from a legalized dispensary, if you will. 
like a legal dispenser. I can't just go to John Schmo on the corner of Maine and Wild and say, bro, here's a hundred bucks, give me a dime bag, you know? You can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can do that, but you're not supposed to do that. And the stuff from the legalized dispensaries, I got shit on my nose, fuck's sakes. The stuff from the legalized dispensaries is shit. They, it's like you have to use three times the amount from the dispensaries that you do from Johnny Knoxville on the corner of Maine and Wild. You know what I'm saying? I just fucking name drop Johnny Knoxville there, son of a bitch. But yeah, that's the thing. You got to use a lot more of the, of the legalized shit or the medicinal shit than you do the regular shit because it's shit. It's complete shit. That's the end of the story of that. So. And they charge an arm and a leg for it too, like 14 bucks a gram, are you fucking serious? Go down to the mall and get mall dope for 6 bucks a gram, for fuck's sakes, and it's better. Totally stole that line from Trailer Park Boys, but I know a guy who does that all the time and people think I talk like him. So, that's fine. I just say at least with decriminalization, there will be some things in effect, like if you're caught running like a two-story grow up, obviously prison, but like, if I were to have two plants growing, and the cops saw it, they'd probably be like, whatever, he's just growing dope for his own use, not a big deal, it's just two fucking plants, or even one plant. They wouldn't care. Well, they shouldn't care. They probably would care. No, they wouldn't. But like right now, the way it is, is like you grow a plant, they catch you, prison. Game over. Thanks for coming out. GG. Pretty fucked. Alrighty, well, I'm going to let that settle and cool, and we'll check on it later on and see how that worked out. i got to go change the battery on the camera, because she's about to die. And we're going to go get some groceries. Alrighty guys, we're in the car. Let's go get some... Ooh, can't have that, it's copyright. Let's go get some groceries and uh, come back and make some food because I'm friggin' starving. Just fired up the car and I got a warning on my dash about low cool. This ain't good. This is really not good. Got a little bit here, so this is already mixed, right? Is it? Doesn't say. Anyway, I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna throw some water in and go from there. I already just topped her up. Now she's at least at the cool mark. That was weird. This happened back in 2011 too, so just as a precautionary, I checked the oil and there's no milky residue on it, so it's not going through the head gasket. Holy fuck, my neighbor's dogs are annoying. But, uh, alright, let's batten up the hatches and go get groceries. Alright, the survey says, do I get the wrench on here again? Not getting the warning on here, not getting the wrench. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Alrighty, we're down here at the supply center, aka beer store. Food basic. So let's go get some uh, supplies and uh, let's get back home and cook a meal. Alrighty, all done. Let's go home. Alrighty, let's fire up the grill. Let's get some barbecue chicken going. That's what I bought for supper tonight. Four box. Six pieces of chicken. That's awesome. I think I might know why the G6 keeps losing coolant. See, it's got a throttle body on it where the coolant lines actually run through the throttle body. Basically for the winter, when it's really hot out, it, or really cold out, it heats up the throttle body so that it doesn't freeze. So, why they have that, I've never seen that on a car before, but apparently the G6 has that feature. I guess it was a problem on the engine. I don't know. Some people said that because uh, the throttle body is getting hot from the coolant, that apparently it can evaporate some over time. And that's probably what's happening, is it's slightly evaporating it off. Because last time I filled the reservoir, was it 2011, 2015, four years later, and just got the warning for no low coolant. But I'll keep an eye on it. If it comes up again and it's a big issue, I'll bring it in and get a check. Well, chicken's grueling up. Grueling? Grueling up really good. Grueling. Why the hell did I say grueling? That's stupid. But it's cooking up pretty good. It's going to be delicious. Can't wait. I'm going to be going to a friend's house after I eat, so right on. Getting shit did. Alrighty, chicken's done. Let's go grab this on my face. Alrighty boys, I'm done eating. Now I'm gonna head out, head over to my friend's house. And I'll be back later probably. Friggin' love chicken though. Chicken's like delicious. It's by far the best meat on the planet. Steak's good too, but I really, really, really enjoy the chicken. Yeah, yeah, I friggin' do guys. Alrighty people, I'm back from my friend's house. It's about 10 o'clock at night and uh, we're gonna finish this off tomorrow. Just gonna show you the clarity of the water even though we put like a whole bunch of salt into it. Oh. There's still a lot of salt in the bottom, but whatever. That will be strained out. So the water is fully saltified. Probably tastes like ass, but that's not a big deal. Who cares? We're going to be streaming tonight from 11 till God knows when, playing Grand Theft Auto. So, you know, something to keep an eye on. 
Um, I don't know what channel I'm streaming on. I gotta figure that out. And I gotta figure out OBS. That's why I came home early because this gives me an hour to get things straightened out. And that's what I'm gonna do. So on that note, people, I'm gonna shut the vlog down here. Tomorrow we'll finish off making the weed killer and probably put it to the test and go from there. So thanks for watching. Big time thanks for watching. Like I always say, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't make these videos. So the fact that I got myself people who watch my videos, it means I like making videos and that's awesome and stuff. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, favorite, and comment. If you have any comments to make about the uh, weed killer, by all means give her. If you have any ideas of anything else I can add to it to make it a little more potent that won't make it illegal, because you gotta keep in mind, if I can't use friggin' Roundup, and I don't call that shit I bought Roundup, I call that friggin' Round Down, because it's garbage. If you have any other ideas of stuff I can add to it that will keep it legal and not piss off Gov, that'd be awesome. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.